how to use the fill tool. Once we've got a polygon shape and we're creating the polygons using the lines and the arcs, we can then use our fill tool in Archicad to fill in into that shape. So we've already got the background of this image being black and so we're going to use a grey foreground fill just to go over the top. I'm also going to turn off the outline. We can create fills with an edge. I'm going to turn that off for now. Now I can just draw any shape. So I could draw this shape, any shape I wanted to, using the polygonal method. Move that away. And that will draw a fill for me. But if I've already drawn the lines, I'm wasting my time redrawing. If I use the magic wand, which is my space bar, I can click on the outside of that line or in the shape, and it's automatically going to fill that shape. Now I can do the same thing even when I've got shapes within shapes, but I have to do it in an order. So if I don't want this middle of the column to be filled, if I click on the outside, it's going to fill the whole thing. So if I don't want that to happen, I'm going to select that fill. I can click on the edge and say subtract from polygon, and then I can spacebar, magic wand, click in and click again to delete it, or I can select it, select the fill tool, and then click and that will delete it. Now, you have to make sure that you've selected that fill. If you haven't selected the fill and select the fill tool and click again, all you're doing is creating multiple fills. You're not editing the fill. So if I click, you can see that I've actually got one fill inside another. Now it's very, very easy when we're using the Magic Wand tool to start to multiply things without realizing it. Multiplying lines, multiplying fills, multiplying slabs or walls, whatever tool that we're in. So be very careful with it. But if we want to edit it, remember first select the element and then we edit it. So select the element, select the tool that created it, Magic Wand, that'll cut a hole.